All right, this is what I got to do occasionally is uh, take my 10 pound block or 5 pound block of clay, which in this case is J Mac, and resupply my clay pot, which is. there. It's a uh, dish pan or storage bin that I've converted into a something to hold my clay in. And I've got a uh, regular light above the uh, a swing arm lamp above the clay uh, with a 100 watt bulb and that keeps the clay soft. And I use a drywall uh, whatever this is to uh, cut the clay up. Yeah, put this aside. And then what I do is I just cut little pieces of the clay off. Let me see if I can do this where you can see it. I just cut about maybe a half inch, quarter inch pieces, something that heats up quickly and uh, is easy to handle. And then I just throw it in my pot and let, let the light do its magic. Time to play with some clay. I'm just getting ready to uh, edit some video from today and I wanted to stop and uh, ask you to do something like subscribe click the bell and make a comment in my videos and check out my instructional DVDs which are linked below this uh, video all right let's get on with today's video I'm not a bit happy with this hair and I don't know exactly what to do about it. Now the wind is blowing against, you know, it, it really helps to have a model, <laughs> but I ain't got one. So I gotta do this by my own imagination. I'm gonna take that hair off. I'm sort of playing this by ear because I really don't know what to do. figured it out. I think. Not quite sure. The wind's hitting him sideways and so I just got to figure out how to make it look like it's doing that. I like that. Got to work on it a little bit, though. I want to 
I'll put that feather right close to his hair because if I don't, sure shooting, somebody's going to bend the feather in bronze some years from now and I'll never replace it the way it should be, which uh, would be straight. So I'm going to work that out. I forgot to take into account that I've got uh, a war club hanging on his shoulder or ha resting on his shoulder. And so I've got to adjust the hair to react to that uh, war club. And so that means this hair would be pressed behind the, the club's um, staff, shaft, and this hair would be behind that because of the wind. I know this sculpting stands uh, uh, support for the uh, clay gets in the way, but it's one of the few things that can get in the way of the camera. I think that'll look good. Let's try it. See. It's got to make sense to the eye. And if it doesn't, it will bother people. That's why you have to kind of think all things through as you're sculpting. I'm going to emphasize the scar just a little bit more. Not a lot, but a little bit more. It's, it's disappearing now. Um, but I'm liking the way he looks right now. I've got work on the top of his hand, but I'll do that after I get my bid from the foundry. And they will see enough of it now to understand how much of uh, the detail work you're going to have to do. And they'll show me what I have to do as far as the shield goes uh, to make it uh, cost effective to uh, cast it. Uh, I'll put a strap or a string holding this uh, medicine pouch on his neck. I just haven't done that. I won't do that until tomorrow. I got some things I want to do tomorrow. I want to get the uh, knife on his uh, belt. But I like the way it looks right now. And uh, oh, and I've got to do is scalp lock too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's my clay right now. And I'm, I'm liking him a lot. It's subtle. It's uh, not flamboyant. It's uh, it's it just is, and that's what I want. Just have it be a figure of a very powerful warrior. All right. Good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video, and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time